Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Alpha's Active Learning. Today's topic is Living World and Classification of Microbes for Standard 8 Science. As you know, there is a great variety in plants and animals around us. Life on the earth is vivid. Every animal is different from the other in their shape, size and mode of living. This variety of animals around us is known as biodiversity. In 2011 census, around 87 million species of living organisms are found on the earth including land and sea. Now to know all the plants and animals around us, we need to identify them and put them in the group. This process of dividing living organism into groups and subgroups is called biological classification. And we also need to know their similar characters and their differences. Scientist Carl Linus has given the first division of this kind. It is known as binomial nomenclature where all living organisms were divided into group, into the subgroup and a smaller and smaller group. According to him, every individual is given a specific name. Binomial nomenclature means bi means two, nomial means name and nomenclature means system of naming. So every individual has a name which has two terms. This was widely accepted. Robert H. Whittaker, an American ecologist, in 1969, he divided organism into five groups. They are plant, fungi, animalia, protesta and monera. To make this division, he has adapted certain criteria. The one is complexity of cell structure. That is whether they are eukaryotic or prokaryotic. Complexity of organism, unicellular, multicellular, mode of nutrition, lifestyle and phylogenetic relationship. Now, in detail about complexity of cell structure. According to him, all the organisms are classified as prokaryote and eukaryote. Now, look at the prokaryote. Here, they lack nuclear membrane. There is no distinct nucleus they possess only single chromosome and these cells are smaller in the size. Whereas in the eukaryote children, they have membrane bound organelles, they have very defined nucleus, they have more than one chromosome and eukaryotic cells are larger in the size. After deciding this, he adopted mode of nutrition. Here, two main divisions autotrophic and heterotrophic now as you all know plants are the only autotrophic living entity they prepare their own food with the help of sunlight carbon dioxide from the air and the water and the nutrient absorbed by the root and the food is converted into carbohydrates now Heterotrophic mode again is subdivided into parasitic, saprophytic and holozoic. Parasitic completely depend upon the plants or on the other animals. Saprophytic are the one who obtain their nutrient from the dead and decaying organism. And holozoic mode of nutrition as you can see here in amoeba. After this, the life cycle. Now, this life cycle depends upon whether they are producer like plants, herbivorous consumer who are eating only plants, carnivorous who depend on the herbivorous 
and the decomposers who ultimately decompose the body of dead plants and animals. So decomposer are mostly all the microorganisms. So phylogenetic relationship, species shared common ancestors. For example, the human being and gorilla and chimpanzees, they have common ancestors. So on this phylogenetic basis, the living organisms are divided into five kingdoms. Monera comes under unicellular prokaryotes, whereas kingdom to protesta, unicellular eukaryotes. But all the multicellular eukaryotes are either kingdom 3 fungi, kingdom 4 plant and kingdom 5 animalia. So let's go ahead. First kingdom one Monera. Here comes bacteria and blue green algae. If you observe them, they found in various shapes. They can be circular, road shaped, curved forms, any other shapes. They may be found in the pairs known as diplo, cocobacilli, oval in shape, vibrio, curved road, and helicobacter like a helical shape. If we see the structure of a bacterium, we can say they are unicellular, prokaryotic because you can't see the distinct nucleus, autotrophic in case of blue-green algae and heterotrophic the other's bacteria. The reproduction is by simple binary fission. Now many of these bacteria are very useful whereas some are harmful. You can see this lactobacilli, even if you take a drop of buttermilk in the microscope. The next one is Kingdom Protista. Now look at the amoeba, how it appears under microscope. Peramonitium, you can see hair-like structure for the locomotion known as cilia. Eugulina, they also have a thread-like structure. Volvox, diatoms. Now, all these protista, if we see, they are prokaryotes and unicellular. They have pseudopodia in case of amoeba, hair like cilia in case of paramoecium, whip like in case of flagella for locomotion, that is for movement. Now, observe here. Euglena and the Volvox, they both are autotrophic because they contain chloroplast, whereas amoeba and paramoecium are heterotrophs. All of them reproduce by binary fissions. But children, this amoeba found in dirty water also, and in case of uh, waterborne disease, it may cause amoebiasis. The responsible amoeba is Antamoeba histolica. Then comes kingdom fungi. If you take a piece of bhakri or a bread, soak it little and keep it for 2-3 days, you can see some thread-like structure on it. This is nothing but fungi. Now these fungi are in a various shape and the sizes. You can see aspergillus here, you can see yeast, mucor, mushroom, many other things. This fungus have a thread like structure. Fungi are non green. Again, they are eukaryotic, saprophytic, they depend upon the dead decaying organism. They reproduce by sexual reproduction as well as by cell division. The peculiarity is that their cell wall is made up of a very complex sugar known as kitty. Now, this fungi, some of them are very useful. Dr. Alexander Fleming has prepared the first antibiotic known as penicillin from penicillium, which is used against microorganism. After the fungi, there comes a microorganism. Why we say microorganism? Because they are visible only and only under the microscope. 
they are present in water air and soil they are again divided into bacteria algae protozoa fungi and virus now let's go ahead after the algae the next comes is virus today the world is facing the biggest problem because of coronavirus you can see on the extreme left now this virus is are extremely extremely minute you can seen only with electron microscope the structure is very different they are made up of protein and has an outer envelope of fat also now this virus once they attack the host cell they replicate by using the host protein and once they are multiplied then they are ready to attack the another cells the speciality of them is that these are the organisms they are at the age of living and non living so still we have not cleared whether they are actually living they are on the age of living and non living remember this virus is causes many diseases to plants and animals at present the world is facing the pandemic because of corona virus let us look at the other virus hiv hepatitis b ebola adenovirus influenza rota virus herpes virus these are the one which causes disease in the human being whereas rabies virus is the one that causes disease in the dog bacteriophage are the one who are attacking the bacteria and causing disease on bacteria also apart from this there are viruses like picorna virus which attacks on cattle wilt virus causing disease in tomato and mosaic virus causing disease in tobacco so children with this we have end up thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed